all right guys welcome back welcome back so we joined this trade in progress um, as you can see I have um, scaled into this position I'm up to 15 contracts right now um, hey, okay let's back up let's talk about how we got here this is a freeze frame of the chart here okay uh, I wasn't recording because I didn't feel like it, but when it started working out, I was like, this could probably be a pretty good trade, and I can just go and voice over everything that I saw. So what I was looking at initially was this zone right here, okay? This was a demand zone, I'm sorry, a supply zone, and it was simply because as price was falling down, okay, you had a halt in price right here. Right? You had a halt, you had a pause. So this tells you where the buyers are, where they were last interested, which was right here. Okay. And this is probably an order block right here. All right. Because what happened was price opened, uh, opened here. So at the low of this candle, it opened here and it traded all the way down first okay then it traded up and then it traded back here to close here and then the next candle would open up and boom all the way down okay so for a moment here the the buyers were strong enough to bring the price all the way from down here to up here because at one point this candle was solid green all right, this candle was a solid green candle. All right, but then the bears came back and said, "No, still got more inventory. Let's take it down." Okay, so as we are pushing up, pushing up, pushing up to this area, this was an area of interest for me. It came up here before and it rejected the halfway point. We know we talked about the 50% retracement point, right? So this order block, it got about 50% into it, and then it sold off. And as you can see here, I started purchasing in this area. Let me see if I can get in on it here. Oh, come on. It's not going to let me zoom in properly. Okay, so anyway, so I started purchasing here. That's what these arrows are. These are my executions, okay? I started selling on this candle. So on this rejection, and all oh, my stop was up here. Okay, so I was really from here to here and so this pushed up a little bit and then it started to sell off I sold again here okay pushed all the way down here I bought back two. I took some profit on the two that I had bought here and then we pushed back up again okay when we pushed back up again we cleared this high okay we cleared this high and they did that so that anyone that had sold here, which I did, they could take them out of this trade before they went lower. Okay. But they still were unable to break through this supply zone because this zone is from here to here. It's from wick to wick. Okay. So they were not able to poke above this, which I was expecting them to do and I wanted to add on here. But because they didn't and because volume was picking up. Look at this here. So you had this spread right here, go to this candle, all right? At one point, let me get rid of some of this, hold on. Okay, at one point, this candle was all green. Okay, it was a full green candle. Then the, the sellers came back in and pushed it down to close a little bit higher than this one, but basically at its low, okay? Volume was a little bit lower which showed that the bulls, they participated heavily in this candle. But when it came to this candle, they gave up toward the end of it because this was able to be pushed down from its high to the low. All right, so I'm already looking for volume to confirm this next move. The next move happens, volume is bigger, okay? And the spread is huge, okay? The spread is, it's bigger, it's bigger than this spread. You just have to trust me, okay? But the volume is not bigger than the spread, okay? So to me, that's not harmony for the bulls because, yes, you had a bigger spread, okay? But you didn't have 
a lot of volume, which means you didn't have to overcome any serious selling until the end of this candle. All right. So when this fell away again, as you can see here, I'm selling again, I'm selling, selling, selling. OK, I sold three here. OK, pop back up a little bit. I'm selling again. OK, and then this next candle opens and we get this huge drive down. So at one point, this candle was solid red all the way down here. OK, check out the volume that this candle had right here. OK, you see it right there, this green volume. It was heavier. It was heavier than the last two. OK, here, here. You see how it's bigger than the last two? And had a long rejection wick to the downside. So this candle opened here. It was pushed all the way down here. It was pushed all the way up here. At one point, it was a little tiny green candle above here. But it was never able to get over the high. OK? Never able to get over the high. And because I had profits from these orders, I could actually withstand a move up here. OK? But when I saw this breakdown here, when I saw the bulls slip here and lose this, break this trend line, this retail trend line, okay, we've had a bounce here, a bounce here, a bounce here, broke here, came down, All right? So when I saw them break that trend line, I knew that they were coming for the liquidity here, liquidity here, and I've already drawn the lines, you see that? So I knew they were coming for these lines, for these levels here, all right? So I went ahead and entered the rest of my contracts right here and on this candle here and that left my average right here so bought a little bit up here and some more in here and then bought the bulk of it right here so that was where we were so that's how we got into this uh, it was using volume and um, the price was not being confirmed by volume because what you want to see when you have a big candle like this okay to, in order for it not to be climactic, you want to see a bigger, I, this candle was bigger than this candle. I wanted to see this spread be bigger than this spread because that would show me that there was a lot of bearish participation inside of this candle and that the bulls overcame that to close up here. Okay. If they didn't have to overcome anything and you just created a big spread at a area of interest, and you still could not, your aim was to break up through this because this was supply from earlier, right? So your aim was to break up through this. You didn't meet your aim, okay? And um, the fight was one-sided. So I was confident that we were going down after that. And that's how we got to this stage. So I just wanted to put that in there. Then when you leave you guys confused, like, what the hell? And I just blew this profit target up over here so that you could see it easier if you're watching it on your phone because I noticed that's kind of hard to see. All right. My main account here. And I thought that this had potential to really be a, a pretty good breakdown. What you guys can't see is a uh, screen. Uh, my other monitor, I'm showing the ticks and the ad decline and the vol speed and you know all the internals that I'm making videos about and they're all acting very bearish so while this price is is pretending to tick up here um, and it pulled down to this low here um, as it's pretending to tick up though there really wasn't much that it could do to convince me that it was going up so I was happy with the position size I would have liked to have been a little bit heavier but um, for my account, 15 is the max I'll trade. So let's just speed this up and see how it plays out.
Now wait, before you go, you might be thinking to yourself, damn, Jay made that look so easy. What an, what an awesome job you did, Jay. That was fantastic. Until I show you that this damn thing continued to run all day long. So, yeah, we got out right here. You guys saw that 12 points. This continued to run all the way down to the low of 102, 101 points. 101 points, and we got 12. We got 12. Oh, my God. How did we get 12? 101 points. So I could be mad about this, guys. I could be really pissed at myself but where was i gonna get out i set my target my target was that this thing was gonna run the lows here right this was the last yellow line so when i got here when i got to this area i got out of the trade right all of this and all of this wasn't in my game plan was not in my head that it was going to continue to do this so what would have happened? I could have held on here. I could have kept a runner. You're probably asking, why did he sell all 15? I could have gotten out here with half, let that drop away. But where, where, what, what, what was my plan? What is your plan when you trade? Huh? Trade your plan. Plan your trade. Plan your trade. Trade your plan. My plan was to get out at these lows when it broke these lows. That's why I had a limit order there. So even if it wicked it and shot back up, I was already out of the trade. Didn't have a plan for this. Therefore, I didn't trade it. Yes, I left a lot of money on the table. I could be upset about that or I could be happy with $9,902. So I just wanted to show you guys that. All right. Thanks for watching. If you watch to the end, if you give me a thumbs up and a like, I guess those are the same thing. <laughs> I appreciate it. See you in the next one. Peace.